What's your favourite part of dancing? Neva is getting her son Josh ready for his favourite weekly event, Sparkle and Shine. A dance class run by 17-year-old Brianna Wimbridge. Come on, mate. Go tell her Brianna is one very unique helper. She's been involved in running these dance classes since she was just six years old. When I was six, most of the kids really like much bigger than me. And so it scared me at first and then I just loved it. Josh couldn't walk, he couldn't move his arms, and now you see him, he's at the front, he's banging away. If we do tap dancing, he's tapping away. When we put the music on and he hears it, he just lights up everything about it, he's just smiling about. It's just unbelievable. We've been looking for something for Karina to come to for a long time, where she can exercise and have fun at the same time. It makes me happy. Cooper's been coming to Sparkle and Shine for three years now. Yeah, it's just given him a lot of confidence and just loves coming and got his first crush on Brianna, the dance teacher. He just loves Brianna. He wants Bree. <laughs> By the age of 15, Brianna was thinking about her own dancing career and was keen to shoot for New Horizons. But she'd made such an impression on her students that their parents pulled together to find Brianna her own dance studio space so the classes could continue. It just touched me like to think that they wanted me to go and open my own dance school for these kids and didn't even have to think about the answer. I'm not surprised that she's having the success because, as I say, from being so very little, it's, there's been something about Brianna. A new child walks in that she's never known and she just instantly is able to have a rapport with that child, talk to them, take them by the hand, you know, the parents might say, oh listen, they don't like to be touched or they don't like people too close, but she just seems to draw them in and they just love her, they just love her. Looking at me! For those children, that's what it's all about. They need to feel comfortable because that's when they do their best and, and Brianna's classes were exactly what they wanted for their kids. They had fun, their friends were there, and they were learning skills at the same time. I mean, she's got it from her mum. That's pretty obvious, because Gail's incredibly passionate about kids with, with additional and special needs. But gosh, yeah, what an incredible girl. And now, to go and help a child like Josh who needs that help. He just adores her and she adores him. Josh, he's with kids that do have additional needs on varying scales. And there's other kids there though too. There's the people that assist them, there's some of the siblings that come in and help. It is a completely inclusive dance school. He smiles and he claps and he laughs and he joins in and he absolutely loves it. Seeing the joy on their faces, it inspires me so much to think, I've had a part of doing this, like helping them with this, to make their lives different. So where are you up to with the concert? OK, I've done the order, and then I've started off with the music. Since Brianna has finished high school, Sparkle and Shine has done their biggest performance ever, live on TV, to help raise money for children in need on the Perth Telephone. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what about a big welcome for Sparkle and Shine? They're a bit nervous with which Doctor. See my son dance on telethon is just amazing. For me to watch her teach dancing and to see her with these kids and know that this is the choice she's made in life, that she wants to be a special needs teacher, makes me very satisfied because I know she's made the right choice, you know. I, I, it, it's definitely her, definitely her. It's just very satisfying to see your child succeeding at something that's not only good for them, but it's good for other people as well. I just see Sparkle and Shine as a way to have fun, to be physically active and for the kids to have a chance to be normal. I love it. <laughs>